Weighing more than 1,000 pounds, Tamara Rosales, that sentence seemed like a better way out than a life confined in a bed. However, she found a new purpose when she started dropping weight and her life turned around in the most unbelievable way. At her heaviest, Mayra Rosales weighed 1,036 pounds, which translates roughly to 470 kilograms. The biggest woman in America had lost all mobility and her existence only consisted in eating while being confined to her bed. There was no purpose to her days and she had given up hope of ever feeling happy again. But a tragic event unexpectedly became the turning point of her life. Mayra was laying on her bed as usual when her little nephew of two jumped up beside her. In a freak accident, she rolled over the boy and her huge body crushed and suffocated little Eliseo. This huge woman now had to face charges of murder. At least, that was the crime Mayra confessed to. When the body of the lifeless boy was removed from the apartment she shared with her sister Jamie, the police could not take her into custody. Her body was simply too huge, so they left her there since she was in no condition to try and flee. Attorneys on both sides worked for months to gather all the evidence in the murder case that would soon be known by the nickname the Half-Ton Killer. It was Mayra's attorney that finally convinced her to speak the truth. In his observation, there was no way that this woman could have been responsible for the death of her two-year-old nephew. Her body took up the entire surface of a king-sized bed where she had become a prisoner for the last two years. There was simply no room for the child, both above and under the covers. Her attorney was therefore convinced that something else must have happened. When the capital murder case started in court in 2008, it turned out to be a freak show with camera crews just trying to capture every moment of this bizarre trial. The woman on trial had to be cut from her house and transported to court in a van. Inside the courtroom, Mayra was placed on a king-size mattress where she stayed for the duration of the trial. From her bed inside of the courtroom, she would hear if she was destined to live or to die. Initially, Mayra simply wanted to die. This is why she fabricated the lie and took the fall for her sister, who was actually the one responsible for the death of the boy. Jamie was abusive to little Eliseo, and when the autopsy reports indicated a period of repeated head trauma, Mayra realized it was time to speak the truth. She had to confess that Jamie had beaten Eliseo with a hairbrush for refusing to eat. She had simply tried to take the fall for her sister, since she was dying anyway. At the time, Mayra's internal organs were finally giving in. She was so severely obese that she had given up on life in its entirety. A that sentence in court would have been the easy way out, or at least so she thought. She did not think clearly at the time, and therefore, she didn't realize that it was wrong to commit perjury. When the physical evidence started to reveal the truth, her attorney convinced her to get a recorded confession from her sister. When Jamie found out that her sister had turned on her, she fled the country. Ironically, the media house that made the documentary about Mayra's life hired a private investigator that traced her to Mexico. After two and a half years on the run, she finally stood trial for what she had done. This would result in a sentence of 15 years in prison, setting a release date in 2025. Mayra was acquitted of any charges, a court decision that brought her to a crossroads in her life. She was either going to die inside her house all by herself or get some help to truly live again. Her sister was in jail, while her remaining children were now left without a guardian. She had no choice but to regain control of her life in order to get custody of her nephews and nieces. Mayra lived in Houston, Texas at the time, and it was then that her paths crossed with that of Dr. Yuna Nauzaradan, the famous bariatric surgeon for the TLC program My 600 Pound Life. If there was someone who could help her, it would be this doctor. Her journey to regain her life started in 2010, and it was all but easy. Before any surgery could take place, Mayra had to drastically lose some weight. She was highly motivated and gave her full cooperation. In a miraculous turn of events, she lost 100 pounds in the first week of her weight loss journey. This made every person involved very excited. However, it took some time for her to lose the 600 pounds required to undergo bariatric bypass surgery. The change that motivated Mayra the most happened when she managed to stand on her own two legs for the first time in years. When she realized the freedom that regained mobility would hold in for her, she felt motivated to stick to the journey, irrespective of how difficult it was. 
Also, Jamie's kids were never far from her mind. As the weight started dropping, she could feel that her internal organs were quickly recovering, and the doctor finally had an explanation of why she struggled with such swollen legs. He diagnosed her with lymphedema, a condition that caused the buildup of fluids in the lymphatic system. The resilience and attitude that Mera displayed soon became an inspiration to thousands of people around the world. Her commitment to her sister's children touched the hearts of many. This extremely obese woman, who was shrinking by the day, displayed the strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. During the time that followed, she underwent 11 surgeries that ranged from the removal of tumors and excess skin to a lap band procedure. The latter operation was a pivotal step to help her manage and restrict her food intake and help her establish a much healthier lifestyle. Mayra ended up losing more than 800 pounds and became one of the most successful stars of the TLC program. After shrinking to about a fifth of her former weight, she was almost unrecognizable. The skin removal surgeries had left her with a more comfortable and aesthetically satisfying silhouette. Yet her doctor had set her goal weight at 180 pounds and she still had a little bit to go. Shedding this enormous amount of weight would have been an incredible story on its own, but Mera became a symbol of hope and a true inspiration to many suffering from obesity. If this woman could stick to the program and take charge of her life, so could anyone else. She had not only transformed her body, but her mindset as well, and she now understood the relationship with food much better. Food no longer controlled her life anymore. Despite her weight, Mayra had always had an amazing personality and found love in a man named Bernie, who stood by her side for most of her journey. Unfortunately, the marriage ended in 2013. The couple mutually agreed to keep the reasons for the separation private. Mayra worked through the hurt of the divorce and then decided that she was ready to find love again. When her path crossed with Carlos de la Rosa, she knew that she had found a wonderful man to share her life with. They married in 2016, and this time the bride could easily fit into a stunning wedding gown. Mayra Rosales received custody of her sister's children in 2013. Despite her rise to fame on the TLC program, she chose to live a quiet life in Sullivan City, Texas. To date, she is still happily married to Carlos and when she walks down the street, she turns a few heads. After losing so much weight, one may wonder if Mayra gained any of it back or if she maintained her goal weight of 180 pounds. However, anyone who gets a sneak peek at this 43-year-old woman should count themselves fortunate as Mayra and her husband Carlos have opted for a low-key lifestyle that revolves around their marriage and finding fulfillment in their union. Still, many people confirmed she stuck to her healthy diet and exercise plan and managed to maintain the sleek figure she had worked so hard towards for years. But most of all, in the few pictures the media was able to take of her, she looks happy and content with her life, and that's without a doubt her biggest success. What a shocking story. Do you think the court did the right thing to grant Mayra the custody of her sister's children? Do you believe bariatric surgery is the only way to effectively help such an obese person? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.